All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've uh, been taking a more relaxed weekend. I have Saturday and Sunday off. I've been chilling. Been um, watching a lot of Amazon Prime. Uh, I recently got the membership because there are some shows that I've wanted to check out and I have and I must say I am pleasantly surprised at the quality of some of these shows. I am not talking about Rings of Power. I have no interest in watching that bullshit, especially with the things I've heard. But I have watched Reacher, which I think is a badass show. It was one of those shows where I was grinning from ear to ear and I was pleasantly surprised that something like this would come out in modern Hollywood where everyone is trying to promote feminism and emasculate male characters. It was refreshing to see a show like Reacher come out where the male isn't just a badass, isn't just a muscle head, but he's ultra competent. The story was quite engaging and the characters outside of Reacher were fun to follow. And the villains, that show made you hate the villains. It made you want to see these villains get killed. And it delivers on that in spades. And Alan Richardson was perfectly cast as Reacher. Now, I don't know much about the Reacher character outside of the first Tom Cruise movie. But according to the purists, and these are people who've read the books and are big fans, so I'm going to take their word for it. Reacher is supposed to be this really big guy who is also really smart. In essence, he is a hobo Batman. Yeah, I got to look around right now because in this community, there are fucking snakes. I am walking my dog because he is desperate to go out. So, uh, I'm going to look incredibly sketchy. And uh, in case we do run into snakes... For those who don't know, I am quite terrified of snakes. And I have no shame in admitting that, knowing that some snakes in Florida are capable of killing you. Like one bite from a cottonmouth, which is local in Florida, and you're dead within the hour. So yeah, Reacher was damn good television. I might rewatch that entire show again. I watched episodes one through eight, starting from yesterday afternoon to today in the morning. I gotta give that show a nine out of 10. Right now, I am on The Boys Season 3. I am in Episode 4. I might cut it off at Episode 5 because uh, I got to get rest. I might go watch one episode starting Monday through Wednesday. I might be able to finish by Wednesday. But so far, what I'm watching from The Boys, I love it. <laughs> it's fucked up, but it is quality storytelling so far. I'm going to end up watching Terminal List afterwards because uh, I'm that kind of guy who likes to watch movies and shows about men who are not afraid to put down the bad guys. As much as I love me some Batman, that's always been my biggest problem with that character is that he's hesitant to kill even when the situation calls for him to kill Joker. But yeah, I'm going to watch a couple of shows on Amazon Prime and that's what Afterwards, I'll cancel the membership. I just want to see these, what these shows are about that everyone... I want to see what the hype is all about. Okay, so I heard the news that they're actually making a new Alien movie at 20th Century Studios. Directed by Fetty Alvarez, the guy who did Don't Breathe and the Evil Dead remake. And produced by Ridley Scott, the director of the original Alien Prometheus and the Alien Covenant, the prequels. I don't know how to feel about this because on one hand, I want to feel excited. New Alien movie, I'm a big Alien fan. Alien and Aliens are my favorite movies of all time. And I found Alien 3 to be a really good movie despite what people thought. I'm referring to the assembly cut when I talk about Alien 3. Alien Resurrection, even though it is bad, it is entertaining. I love the game Alien Isolation. I love the AVP games that capture the feel of the first two movies. I'm a huge Alien fan and I want to be excited for this new movie. But the Alien movies have not had a good track record lately. Prometheus, while an inter interesting sci-fi movie, was lackluster in terms of writing. Alien Covenant, 
I enjoyed it, but I have to admit, it could have been better. But Fetty Alvarez coming into this franchise harkens back to the old way of making alien movies where each alien film had a different director. The first alien had Ridley Scott. The second alien film had James Cameron. The third film had David Fincher. The fourth film had, you know, I'm gonna butcher his name, but John, John Pierre Dunette. Okay, I looked it up, it's John Pierre Dunette. So it is gonna be interesting to see a different director's take on this franchise. I think Fetty Alvarez can make a good alien movie. I just hope the studio or Ridley Scott don't get too meddled with his vision. They don't fuck with it. Because I feel like that's where things might go south. Like it did with David Fincher in Alien 3. I'm skeptical of this upcoming alien movie. But I will watch it. And I will watch the TV series that is currently being filmed. I'm an alien fan. So no matter what, I am going to support this franchise. And I do know that eventually they will come up with something that is as good as the first two. Alien Isolation, the 2014 game, was a clear indicator of that. I think that is the best alien thing to come out of this franchise since Aliens. I think making a movie as good as the first two is possible. But the circumstances have to be right. And whoever is directing... Leave them the fuck alone and let them see their vision through. I do remember the guy who did District 9 was going to do an alien movie. And he had this really interesting concept art. But he never got to make it after Alien Covenant's box office numbers were poor. We may not ever get to see that movie, unfortunately. Hopefully they get to release that in an audiobook or a comic book. Because I would definitely pay to see what that guy's vision for alien would have been i'm interested for the new alien stuff coming out but i do have more skepticism than i used to when it comes to this franchise